All right, guys. Uh, how you doing? Okay, let's see. It. There we go. Okay, so I uh, just wanted to go with you today through. Um, I'm going to be testing out some solenoids and uh, using uh, using the same power supply as my. Things got power right now. Be careful. Using my. Uh, Use them in the same power supply that I use to do the uh, uh, the fuel injector cleaner, and see if this uh, if these are working correctly. Um, so okay, let's go through it. Um, here's the two um, uh, solenoids, uh, Tad and Tab. I think I'm not sure. Anyways, um, I haven't figured out exactly where these go yet. But anyways, we're, we're just testing them anyway. So these two solenoids that uh, divert uh, vacuum pressure or activate uh, activate the vacuum, activate the pathway for the vacuum so that the vacuum can travel to its destination. Anyways, 12 um, inch mercury, 12 inches of mercury. Yeah, that's what it is. 12 inch mercury. So it's holding it. So that's the first test. Anyway, so here we go. We're gonna put the um, 12 volts is on the right hand side uh, for me 12 volts is right over here again we're using the same power supply that I use for the injectors with the uh, switch attached so let's see ready there we go it's holding at 11 alright so we know that works let's move on Okay, let's reattach it here. Okay. Uh, okay. All right, here we go. Let's give some uh, fifteen and a half. Seems to be holding. So let's see if uh, the actual uh, electronics work. All right, so everything's working there. Cool. So we know, I know that this is working. I, uh, I, uh, this is the, uh, this is the vacuum diverter. Um, this is the EVR, the, uh, EGR vacuum regulator, or EGR solenoid, whatever you want to call it. Um, I thought I had an issue with it, but turns out I don't. Um, so I didn't really waste thirty-two dollars, but you know, I didn't need because I I noticed that the excuse me the vacuum doesn't hold in this one. So even when I let me give you an idea of what it's supposed to do, I'm still going to replace it. I think that's probably the best bet here. This is your input, okay? So and nothing really happens. Actually, all that it just sucks air. Actually, yeah, it sucks air through here. So I kind of have to block this off, okay? So I have it's blocked off, okay? All right. So let's see. Hmm. Okay. So well, it's definitely a vent. As far as I understand. Once this is activated, uh, the vacuum comes through. The, this clear tube is the um, incoming vacuum. Okay, this is coming from the tree on the manifold, on the intake manifold, the upper intake manifold. So the in, so the, the vacuum is coming through here, right? And then what this does is, once this is activated by the computer, which is, for in this case, it's me. I'm the computer right now. Let's uh, see where we're at. Okay, so this is positive Oops. Okay, again positive on the right 12 needs constant 12 volts 
We're not really giving it constant, so. And um, that might be part of my issue here. They're demonstrating the same exact results. I, I would have to say that this one's probably still good. Okay. Uh, no matter what my test results, what no matter what my contraption is here for testing purposes, um, I get exactly the same result. So um, it must be working, right? Okay. No vacuum. Uh, what basically what's happening right now? The vacuum is actually um, going out into the atmosphere. That's what that little top part was for. Okay, so you hear a noise. Okay, it's venting out or it's pulling in, whatever you want to call it. The vacuum is not closed. This is not a closed system yet. So uh, let's go ahead and. Okay, ready? So, gotta make sure nothing's touching here. Okay, ready? So now I've activated it. Watch. Okay, but it doesn't, uh, but it doesn't hold vacuum. So, I guess you only need eight inches of vacuum to get that EGR valve working. So, as soon as it hits that, it does move down pretty fast. I mean, and that's that's what I was seeing on my old one, was that kind of. So I thought there was something wrong because it wasn't holding. Uh, it wasn't holding like the rest of them. As of right now, all of our smog is going good. Um, all of the smog is working properly, and uh, I've uh, checked all the check valves. Oh, uh, I'll show you. I'll show you how I tested the uh, the actual uh, the vacuum valves. Okay, for the. Uh, the other parts of this is okay. So um, here's a check valve. Okay. Okay. So we got two. This has got a little stuff in it, but it didn't seem to matter. Um, here is the uh, two. Um, this one goes to the smog pump, and this is a little further down. This is diverter, this is the bypass. Okay, so these are two uh, vacuum valves, vacuum valves, like the EGRs. So let's test these real quick. These are simple to test. Okay, so here we go. Stick that in there. Okay, so basically, I guess it just has to hold the vacuum. Okay, and you'll probably notice there's a little minute amount of, uh, it does go down ever so slightly. Okay, so we know that one's, that one's good. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, screw this up. So we got our new EVR. There we go. Was it ready to go? Everything's ready to go pretty much. Uh, now I got to figure out the vacuum lines. Okay, guys, thanks for being with me tonight. Um, we're just about there. I think I'm gonna probably put it in this weekend. I've got uh, everything ready to go. Everything checks out. Uh, this seems like maracas. Listen. <laughs> it's funny. Anyways, I'm such a simpleton. Anyways, <laughs> um, all right. Uh, I'll talk to you tomorrow night. See you guys. See you tomorrow.